You can see I'm grabbing this dead bloom, this old bloom, and I'm going down to the first set of leaves right here. And see, there's a new flower bud right there. And so I don't want to cut that off. I don't want to go further down here. I want to keep that because I want to see that grow. Hey, everybody. Sean and Allison here from Spoken Garden. Hi, you guys. Happy Tuesday to you. How are you today? And this is day 141 of the Quarantine Gardeners. If you don't know, that's us. And this is our video log of us accomplishing different projects around our garden while we're under quarantine. And we're so thankful you're here watching today, you guys. We hope this is helpful for you. Go ahead and click that subscribe button down below if you haven't yet so you don't miss all our daily videos. So, guys, today is day 141. We're going to be deadheading our English lavender plant out front of our house. Yeah, we have some great new blooms coming in, and but the old blooms are spent and they're kind of messy looking. And they're still hanging on in the plant. So. It's, it's a personal preference. You don't have to deadhead, but we'll show you where you can deadhead and how to do it and the best way to do it so you don't hurt the incoming blooms. So guys, if you plan on deadheading your lavender plant and you want to use a hedger, like a manual hedger, you can do that, but make sure you understand that you're also, when you hedge that plant and take those dead blooms off, you're also going to be taking off a lot of new growth and all the potential new buds that are coming up. And we'll show you in just a minute what we mean. Here is one of our English lavender beautiful plants. And as you can see, we have a few blooms that are still, still going strong back here. Yeah, they're still blooming, but it's surrounded by all these spent blooms. These guys came in early this year, early this summer, and man, did we have a flush oh, of flowers. It was but, so beautiful, and it was full of bees and butterflies. Yep, yep, and so now, we want to deadhead this because we want that new flush of color and the new flowers to really stand out. And to do that, we have to take out these old blooms. But you have to be really careful, you guys. You really need to get in here and see what's going on. Um, Sean and I thought we would head shear these because it's faster, just using your head shears and just kind of going right over the top of this. But we would have lost all of this incoming growth. Yep, there's a whole bunch of new stems with all these new flowers on it. And if we hedged it out, it, we, it might shape the plant. It might look nice in a shape, but we would have cut all those new blooms and growth off. And we don't want to do that. We don't. And they're all really low down in here. You really have to just kind of dig in. Here's another one. Mm -hmm. We have opted to go ahead and use our pruning shears and yep. get in here. Yep, we're just going to take off the old blooms one by one with our hand shears here. Okay, guys, here we go. Got our. Got our Corona hand pruners, and we're just gonna get in here. We're just gonna start taking these old blooms off. You can see I'm grabbing this dead bloom, this old bloom, and I'm going down to the first set of leaves right here. And see, there's a new flower bud right there. And so I don't wanna cut that off. I don't wanna go further down here. I wanna keep that because I wanna see that grow. So I'm gonna just cut it right above those leaves. And that's that's what we're doing. So guys, if you wanna see something cool, here you go. So here's here's an old bloom on this stalk. And if you would have hedged it, if we would have hedged it, if we would have cut it all the way back here, we would have cut this off, but we also would have cut all of this off right here. I don't know if you can see that really well, but there's a whole new stem here with all this new growth. And then look at that, there's the new flower right on top. Really cool, right? So this is why we're not hedging it. This is a really great example of why we're not just hedging this whole plant. We wanna keep this and we wanna take this guy off. So I'm going to go down. I'm going to move these apart. I'm going to go down here to these leaves, just above those leaves, and I'm going to cut it. So, and we're just going to continue like this throughout the whole plant, and uh, we're going to keep those leaves, and we're also going to keep those new flower buds, but we're going to take all of the old flower stems off with these old flowers on top of them. So it does take longer doing it this way, but again, you're not sacrificing all the new growth because that's the whole purpose of deadheading. We're trying to promote the energy for, of, from the plant to go to the, all those new blooms. Yep. And we don't want to look at the old blooms anymore. We want to look at the new blooms. So here we are doing what we're doing. So we are going to continue deadheading our English lavender because we want to promote all that new growth. And I mean, a bouquet of spent flowers that smell amazing, not such a bad thing. There's tons of stuff you can do with this. I think we're going to take these in and uh, maybe rope them together with some uh, rubber bands or something and set it down on the front table. That'd be nice to smell Ooh, for a or while. Or in our office. Ooh, that'd be good too. Oh yeah. We spend a lot of time in there. <laughs> <laughs> so guys, leave any comments or questions down below for us. We love hearing from you guys. Give us that thumbs up, let us know we're doing a good job, and subscribe to our channel so you get updates on our latest videos. 
And that's a wrap for today, you guys. We hope that was helpful. And we'll be back tomorrow with another Wildlife Wednesday tip for you. So come on back to see what we're up to, and we'll see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow, everybody. Bye, everybody. Bye-bye.